Velvet Tramp. Hold on, that's not right. Hi, this is Greg, Metal Perf TV. Hedrick's going to join us in a minute. We're talking to Sammy from We Go to State Life. Oh. And uh, I believe in eyes as well, isn't it? I believe in eyes as well. And yeah. today you were yeah. doing a bit of tri fiction as well, weren't you? I was indeed, yeah. I've, How I've, many other bands are you in? I'm in, I'm in a few. I'm in one other band, actually, with my girlfriend who's over there. We're called Employed to Serve. It's kind of more like kind of hardcore kind of stuff, but I've done vocals for tri fiction a number of times yeah. now. And like I say, every time their vocalists can't do it, then they just ask me if I can step in. That's cool. So is it what they're doing, are you doing tomorrow night for them as well? I am indeed, yeah. Originally this tour was supposed to be three days, but now it's just two. So I'll be doing... Couldn't do it for a day? No, we couldn't. Well, I think there were some sort of personal problems involved and sort of yeah. stuff went wrong. So we decided to leave it at the two days. But uh, yeah, I'll be playing with Regurgitate Life tomorrow as well in Bristol. I uh, love playing in Bristol. Bristol's an awesome place. Yeah, I think Regurgitate Life would be awkward if you never turned up. No, yeah, it would be a bit awkward, <laughs> wouldn't it? Just like maybe I could send them like my iPod, like, iPod <laughs> yeah. and they could just play like a couple of my tracks. It like a cardboard yeah. cut out of you or something like that. that yeah, yeah, cool. exactly. So why why are you doing one man band? Is there any particular reason for that? He has no friends. I have that no was a good friends. reason, yeah. I am I am the lone death metal wolf. No, it's, yeah, it's quite popular now, though, isn't it? It is, yeah. That's the thing. Well, I mean, more or less for me, the thing was, is like I was in a couple of other bands. I've always had other commitments like uni work and stuff like that. So instead of having to rely on like four other people, I thought, well, if it's just me, I can tour when I want. I can record when I want. Have you know? When it comes to touring or stuff like that, and you've got to wait for like four other people to try and book time off work, it becomes very difficult. And with me, it's when I'm free, and I obviously only take up one seat in the van as well. So yeah, it makes it very easy. So it's all your own show, basically. Yeah, definitely. I mean, there, there would be perks of having a full band with it as well, and. I noticed that, so it's, it's not something I'm ruling out for the future, but for the time being, it's very convenient. To, uh, yeah. To do it one man, but you so. say you, you get your like uh, your band kind of fixed with a really nice, don't you? Well, that's it. Yeah. So I'm I'm, I'm quite busy with that, and as we're saying, I'm in other sort of and your hardcore band. Yeah, yeah. So I'm sort of. For me, this is like since Oblivion Eyes does do death metal shows, but we also do a lot more grindy stuff. This is kind of for me to yeah. go play death metal shows because I still love death metal as well. So yeah. It's my death metal album. Yeah. So you you. Play all sorts whenever you, you know. Yeah, man. You've got every just... little fucking finger <laughs> yeah, covered, exactly. kind of thing. Yeah. Probably gonna play in a jazz band or something. Yeah. Like that. So, um, any any uh, shortcomings to being a one man band? Yeah, I mean, every now and like, you know, obviously there's the, the one which is just never gonna sound exactly the same as like a, a full oh, yeah, band or having a real drummer. But saying that, if you know you've got like, well, unicorns always got good sound, and yeah. playing venues that's got good sound, it, you can actually pull it off. In some respects, like, just you on your own can sound a lot stronger than like a band. Quite, I guess you know. so. I mean, one, I would say one of the perks definitely to it is if you've got a bad sound, when there's loads of elements like drums and bass and stuff to get right, and you've got a bit of a dodgy sound, if it's just you, a uh, drum track, uh, guitar, and vocals, it's a lot more focused. There isn't so many elements, so yeah. it makes it a lot more easier to do. I suppose also if something sound goes wrong, you're on your own. I All eyes are on you. I can't. I can't blame you. Any, had you had any nightmares? It looked like for a minute that your your thing wasn't working today. You oh, were looking yeah, at it a couple no, that's of times. Oh yeah, the worst here as well because my lead's not very long, so I have to kind of like bend over and press play. <laughs> and if it doesn't play, then you look a bit silly. But no, I think. The, the worst problem I've had is never stopped or anything, but if you're in a venue, I mean, obviously, since I haven't actually got a drummer behind me, I re like, rely on the monitors so much to hear my drums. Yeah. If you've got a dodgy system or something like that, mm. and you can't hear your drums, then, like, you might get halfway through a song, have to stop and say, look, I can't, I have to sort the sound out. Yeah. Because if you can't hear your drums. Awkward. <laughs> yeah, it's awkward as fuck, but it's better than going along and start playing out at time. It's better yeah. to just, like, nip it in the bud and sort the problems out there. Yeah. What was the first song that you played tonight? Just introduce the first one, it's, it's not got a title yet. Yeah, but it's going to be on one of my upcoming releases, hopefully. I've got one coming out at the end of this year, and it, it might be on that one. So, how come it hasn't got the title yet? You just I've, like, I've, I've got too slow to pick one up? Or? No, well, that's the thing. Like, I, I, I don't really have a lot of problems writing lyrics, but I have, when it comes to like narrowing it down to a title, yeah. I find it quite hard because you don't want something that's really long, but at the same time, you don't want a generic one name title. Mm. So, I definitely say it's my hardest thing to do is name. What was the, what's the uh, lyrical content of the first one? What's that one about? It, well, it's it's quite sort of misanthropical, sort of stuff like that. Basically, I know the way people like live their lives nowadays, and they're quite content to sort of work jobs that they're not happy with. Yeah. And stuff like that. It's getting on with it really, even though they're not happy. That's generally what the gist is about, and the, the, the general theme kind of uh, goes throughout the whole TV as well. <laughs> Yeah. 
Is that, is that like, I mean, do what other lyrical content do you use to talk about? Is it all basically like life? It's, and it's usually pretty good, yeah. I, I try and steer away from any, not that I dislike brutal stuff or like gory lyrics, but that's not really what I usually write my lyrics about. I usually, yeah. It would usually be something quite personal, but then kind of, you know, use metaphors and stuff. To yeah. Kind of, Make it, make it adapt to lots of different situations. You kind of overflate it as well, so it's like, you know, you take a small e element and then like build it up to a... Exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. it, just kind of make it, make, you know, make it so it's a bit... So it has got a definite meaning, but it's a bit broader, so people can kind of, you know... You know. Yeah. So is that what the whole name is, regurgitate life? Is that, to, you know, regurgitating kind of. things from your life? Uh, that, that's, I mean, originally, like, I didn't... It was kind of a subconscious thing, because I don't... I don't know if you know, but right there, right there, mate. Right. This, is the, this is the wicked singular death metal man. Yeah, thank you very much. He's fucking awesome. Oh, um, sorry, I would have been here a little bit earlier, but I just had a barney with me. You're just slacking, man. Uh, what are they paying you for? Dang. Oh really? Look at that. Just the ears. Yeah. For, for the love. For the love. For the talk, love. To talk to people like, like me down alleyways. Yep. Oh uh, well, I mean, like, obviously you've asked a bunch of questions so far, so I'm not going to ask any questions until I get a good idea of what's going on already. <laughs> well, we're just, just talking about lyrical content and uh, the, the story behind the, the uh, band yeah, name. Like, well, because I didn't. It was kind of yeah, subconscious at first, but it's actually a lyric from uh, "Infecting the Crips" by Suffocation. It says, "Force down your throat to regurgitate life." Right. But when I named the band that, I was kind of like, I swear that's a band name. I've heard it somewhere before, and it took me a while to realise. It's like, oh, fuck, I've heard it. It's a lyric. Infecting the Crips. Yeah. Well, so, yeah. Yeah. But it's impossible to fucking come up with brand new names now, isn't it? And I was quite happy that I don't think anyone else has used it for a band name yet, so taking it from lyrics is yeah. not, not so bad. No. And it's not like the most uh, obvious lyric either, is it? I mean, it's no, like, no, no, it's because it's not like the title of the, of the song or anything, no, is it? No, no, yeah. no, exactly. If it was in yeah. the Crips or something like that, it'd, yeah. it'd be different, wouldn't it? But. Yeah, fair enough. What so, was the uh, second song? Introduce the second song to us. Play tonight. Well, I, play, I played "Come Forth Today," which is uh, that's off my album actually. I can't remember what track it is, but I just uh, yeah, I, I released it last year. The physical copy only came out earlier this year, but it's on Severed Records. So you can either pick it up from my Facebook page, or you can go on Severed Records and check it out there. But yeah, it's called the Human Complex anyway. Yeah. Right. It's, it's off of that. Cool, we'll, uh, we'll put the links on the end of the video as well. We'll get them off your Facebook page, yeah? yeah. Well, Google it and you can download it off a million torrent sites. I don't right. Know. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't got no free downloads anywhere. No, I've got it on Bandcamp, I believe. My, my pricing is either four or five pounds, but right. uh, I think it's like... 13 tracks on the album, something yeah. like that, so you, you get your money's worth. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll pack some in. <laughs> So, so have you tackled already the he plays everything in the fucking song? Yeah, pretty much. We, we kind of yeah. <laughs> and like, it's down to me if I mess up. Yeah. Like, Fuck. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't you, you you get quite like quite a lot in here. I mean, you're always quite you're down here very often. You're like, I do, yeah. you like you know with Oblivion Eyes as well. That's what I was going to say. Like you started off Oblivion Eyes about five piece when I first saw them. It was. And you're whittling them down, aren't you? You're trying to get them down to a one piece. I am. As well. exactly. <laughs> so I'm going to kick it where it's like a serious decrepit viral load. It's just going to be like two one man bands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it must be like all the three of us with the biggest bunch of dicks. You can't work with us, and I must be the ultimate prick because yeah. no one wants to work with me. In this yeah. battle, so. That's got that's got to be it, really. That's fair enough. No so, yeah, so it's working out with us three people. So like, yeah. Um, Have you already tackled the when did when did it start? Oh, we're going to take life. That was. Um, well, it seems like quite a while ago now. I didn't gig until 2009, but I put out my first demo in 2008. So, yeah, so, I mean, I guess, you know, like, five or so years Good ago. Good response, enough yeah. to make you want to keep doing it. Definitely. Well, as I said, like, I was going to make it a full, uh, full line-up at first, and then I thought, I was busy with other stuff, I thought, fuck it, you know, this is City's Decrepit Scene, Future Pole, bands do it one man, why can't mm. I do it one man? And have, you, have you ever considered taking your one man band busking? Hey! I thought about it. <laughs> I would love I to really, see that. I really, really want to do a gig. Um, in, in the we should London we should sort it out. We we'll should sort it out. We should get you. We should get a little mosh pit going around a little, little busking point. Like get you in there and do like a like a little you know. We should go to take life, you know, music video. I, I think you should play multiple venues like um, subways, <laughs> uh, train stations. I think yeah. it'd be good if you can name a time and place. We should do a little uh, um, we go to take life tour, like busking tour. Yeah, yeah. outside yeah. the Hammersmith yeah. Apollo when someone else is playing inside and that kind of thing. Exactly. Yeah, just yeah. on the outside. Yeah. Get some like pan bike stuff. <laughs> 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 
good. I can play triangle. I'll play a mean triangle. Hot man, just on the brakes. Like, <laughs> 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 yeah. That was perfect timing as well. It so, was. yeah. <laughs> I'd do it, and honestly, I think it'd be, I'd think it'd be fun. I, I, think, we, say, I think we should, man. I'd love to do it in the underground. It'd be so fun. Like, you, have to, you have to pay for it. Do, do, do they vet your music before they give you a spot, or you just go and say we want a spot? Say, I, I chased it up once. I said, because you have to obviously apply for a bus. Yeah. To yeah. So I did actually email London Underground not too long ago for it, and there's nothing kind of like a. Nothing ever came of it, unfortunately. So yeah. I, was, I was a bit gutted. That's a shame. Yeah. Maybe so I, I what's, the what's the maximum fine for busking against the, against without permission? I don't actually know. Probably more than I'd make. Yeah. <laughs> Probably, maybe not worth probably, it then. Yeah, to, be <laughs> to be honest, a lot of the buskers I know make more than what you would do if you was working paying okay. taxes. Well, it must be worth it, otherwise why would you do it? We could always put yeah. a sign up saying the more you pay, we're stock quicker. Yeah, it's good to say. <laughs> a lot of them don't want to join banks because they don't want to share. <laughs> no, it's true, man. And you saying that sometimes you probably might get paid. You, you can busk outside churches on a Sunday morning and stuff like that. Exactly, yeah. Sing, sing your most irreligious songs. Oh, I don't know how that would go. Did you, where do you stand? <laughs> where do you stand on religion? Are you, is that one of those things uh, that you think is a, yeah, I mean, a waste of life, or a little bit? Yeah, I mean, I'm not like massively. I think obviously, as soon as you know, it turns to fundamentalism or anything like that, then yeah, it's, it's awful. But I mean, if you're religious, you follow any religion, you keep it to your, for the day. Yeah, and it keeps, keeps Just, you keep it to yourself, and you don't force it down anyone's throat. Yeah, yeah. totally, totally fine by me. But obviously, there's a lot of things in the world that are caused I mean, by religion. Would you say you're more of like? Uh, more appreciate the fluidness of spirituality yeah. than the rigidness of religion. Yeah, exactly. It seems a bit, you know, it's quite easy to get into and follow, but I mean, some people like it. It helps them a lot, so, you know, fair enough. But I mean, it's not, it's not for me. No. Head trip worships the dwarf gods, yeah. I'm the king of the dwarves. <laughs> what the fuck else would I do? What, what, is, what, what is the name of the religion? Dwarf, dwarfism? Oh. I don't know, I made it out. I was looking shit. <laughs>
right, what was the third song you played in your set today? The first one? No, that's th third one. The third one. Oh, okay, that was... You've got to do them in order. No, I was going to say, <laughs> that one was also off my, um, off my album as well. It's called 20 Years. Yeah. And that one, that one's about as, um, as a guy who was... I can't remember his name, actually, but I remember the story being all over the news about a year or so ago. He was, in, he was on death row for 20 years before he... Uh, Yes, he got killed, and I just like at the time I was 20, and I thought, "Fuck, he's been yeah. on, he's been on death row for the whole entire time I've been alive." Yeah. And he, till the day he died, pleaded like it's innocent as well. Heavy so shit, it, innit? If he if he was innocent, then that is pretty harsh. That yeah. Spent 20 years on death row until he actually. Got That's crazy. You got to look at your life sometimes and think how many fucking worse situations there yeah, can be. Yeah, and it's weird to like to spend that much time on death row. It's like it's yeah. Strange. You know, obviously you can argue that if he did do it, then you know he should maybe he deserve it. But yeah. if he was actually innocent, then it's it's pretty grim. Well, that was that one anyway. Any, uh, so you got an EP coming? Do you think of I do, yeah. Soon? I've got uh, it's all recorded by the vocals. I might as well say it here, actually. I haven't said it yet, but it's going to be all um, all guest vocal appearances. Oh, like but I'm not going to do any vocals on the EP. I'm just going to get friends. Uh, yeah, anyone we've we heard of? Or? Yeah, I might I might save it until the, until it actually comes out. But yeah, like if, quite a few of the bands I've toured with before and stuff. I'm just going to ask their vocalists yeah. to like chime in because I thought it'd be good because that's kind of one of the perks of being a one man band. Yeah, you can you know you. Any, any really like wacky that. out there ones like Mr. Smith, your PE teacher Mate, school, or anything good, like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, Jeff, who lives next door. Yeah. Or anyway. The ice cream man. Yeah, that would be man. If he could do some good vocals, he yeah. could do it. Like, I don't care. You know. Cool. Huge question is um, are you, whatever bands you join, and however big they get, yes. are you going to keep them in this? Definitely. I mean, because this. This year, like I mean, I've kicked a fair bit, but I, I haven't like I would say I've kicked like loads. So this is kind of like I can record stuff and keep putting stuff out, and at the same time, every now and again, I can you know, hop on a gig and play a show. So it's nice because, as I was saying earlier in the interview, like I still really love death metal, but I don't even mind the bands. I mean, Oblivion Eyes is kind of death metal, but it's a bit more grindy. This is kind of my excuse to come play death metal shows. It's got more grind, has not it, Oblivion Eyes? Definitely, I mean... I had an EP uh, when John Rushford was oh, in the yeah, band that's... and uh, that was kind of death metal, wasn't it? Straight it up was, it was. It, that was kind of like black and death, I guess, almost. Yeah. And then our second EP after that kind of was going a bit more a bit more grindy. And then as we were like getting older and stuff, we kind of like, you know, we we got into different music. And yeah. like now, now I wouldn't even say it's a grind band. I'd probably say now it's like grind mixed with lots of different things. You know? Right. I, mean, I wouldn't call it a straight up grindcore band, but it's definitely more towards grind than it is. Yeah. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. At the end of the day. Acapella. Acapella? Yeah. Acapella <laughs> grind? Yeah. I could do that, couldn't I? Yeah, acapella would go to say live. I was actually thinking about what I could do is like, I could get um, I could beatbox and do vocals at the same time, so you yeah. get completely get rid of the iPod. Yeah. And just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and just do that and like do sub drops and that, stuff. That may work. It could be. It'd be impressive. <laughs> and then you could actually be good to take it and you at the same yeah. time. Yeah. I think maybe if I bust doing that then I might make some money. Yeah. Have you ever regurgitated life? Well actually the other day I uh, I went out and got rather drunk and the next day I was feeling quite quite awful and I didn't regurgitate. <laughs> Yeah. Probably not my life because I'm still here now. It's probably more than carrots, isn't it? Carrots and um, beer. Maybe. I, I, I imagine was, there was some bacteria. I was so, I was so drunk, yeah. Exactly. I was so drunk the night before I could have eaten anything. <laughs> anything. Do you reckon they survived? The alcohol? Mm, I don't know. I just took a kebab. Probably the hard thing to survive. My stomach, but uh, that's probably what it's came out. It's got half life out. kebabs, didn't they? Yeah, exactly. Half -life. Radioactive half life. It was like a chicken one. Maybe I threw it up and it started oh, falling yeah. away when it came out. It tends to be know. people that piss off Turkish people. <laughs> Why in the kebabs? Yeah. <laughs> right, nice.
Anything you want to finish up with? Um, well, thank you very much for the interview. And no yeah, problem. keep coming down to gigs at the Unicorn. Yeah, cause definitely, because they're free. free <laughs> and it's awesome. And yeah, I would go to take life. Facebook and all that stuff. Excellent. Like, new EP coming out at the end of the year. Can we just get you to say this to the end, Metal Perv TV or Metal No Plastic in your best death metal voice? So it's Metal Perv TV, Metal No Plastic. All, all metal, metal No Plastic. I'll oh, zoom in. Metal Perv TV or Metal No Plastic. Wicked. <laughs> Sick. Best one yet. <laughs>